Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually integrate Azure DevOps and Jira. The first thing you need to make sure is you have Exalate installed on both your Azure DevOps and Jira. On the Azure DevOps side, you would just download it from the marketplace, like any other add-on. And on the Jira side, you would do the same thing from the Atlassian marketplace. And then after that, you can go to your Manage Apps page. And there you'll have a list of all your installed plugins, so you can start um, going to any window from the Exalate add-on. Right now we're going to Connections. And on the Azure DevOps side, you can go to your Organization Settings, scroll down to your Extensions to Exalate, and then you'll have your Exalate application here. I prefer to have two windows for the Azure DevOps side, so I have one inside the Exalate application, and another one when I where I can actually start creating my work items after I have set up my integration. So the first step to set up your integration when you already have Exalate installed on both sides is to initiate a connection. To initiate a connection, you can do it from either side, so from Azure DevOps or Jira. In this case, we're going to start the connection from the Azure side. So I can go to my Connections tab and click on Initiate Connection. Now, there's two ways we can create a connection. If you're connecting to a private instance or maybe a Jira server that's behind a firewall, we do offer that option, in which case the private Jira will be doing polling every 20 seconds to see if there's anything new it needs to process instead of the public-to-public -public, uh, scenario where each instance is sending each other HTTP requests every time there's something new to, for the other side to process. In this case, we're connecting to a public Jira cloud, so we'll just choose public to public. The next step is to copy and paste the URL of the instance you're connecting to and to give each side of the connection a name. So this side is going to be Roman Azure, because that's the name of our organization. And the Jira side is going to be Hidalgo Atlassian, because that's the name of our Jira cloud. Click Next. Now, how Exalate transfers information is via Groovy scripts. So Groovy is just the scripting language that these scripts are based on. The idea is that each side, so Azure and Jira, each side is going to have its own set of scripts, so an outgoing and an incoming script. And so there's two scripts on each side. The idea is that on the if you're the Azure admin, for example, in your outgoing script, you're going to choose what information from your local work items you're going to send over to Jira. And in your income, incoming script, you're going to decide how you in interpret the information that you receive from Jira. And the same thing for the Jira side. So when it's asking you to choose a singles template, it just means how these scripts are going to look by default. So if I choose single project, it means Whenever I receive synchronization from Jira, it's going to create the corresponding work items in this testing project. Now, if I click Initiate, I get this Copy Invitation Code button. One second, yep. And I can click Copy Invitation Code. If I click Go to Remote, it will take me to the other side of the connection. Um, we click on Accept Invitation and paste our code here in the connections page in the Jira side. Again, it will prompt you to choose a SyncWills template. Um, basically, right now we're going to choose single project again, so everything gets created in the same Jira project. But it's not crucial which one you choose because you can always um, you can always change back and forth from single project to advanced by editing your scripts. So for now, we're going to say whenever we receive synchronization from Azure create the corresponding uh, issues in the test project in Jira. Now, if I click Configure Sync, I can go to my Rules tab, and this is where I can see my scripts. So this is my outgoing Jira script and my incoming Jira script. Here, you would set up um, all your configurations. So if you have custom fields or any sort of specific use case you need to set up, you would do it in these scripts. And the same thing for Azure. If I go to Edit Connection, you can see I have my set of scripts here. For now, we're going to keep the default scripts and I'm going to show you how to actually synchronize your work items to Jira. All right, now I'm going to show you the manual way to create a, I mean, to synchronize a work item from Azure to Jira. So to do this, we're going to create a new work item. It's going to be a task. It's going to be test Azure to Jira. 
test description we save and close that so if I go into this um, work item wait a second for the exalate panel to load I can manually synchronize it so I'll just choose from my connections and um, let me check the name of our connection Mm -hmm. choose that one and click exhalate and you can see the status goes to in progress soon enough it will be waiting for remote which means it's um, getting synchronized it's getting processed on the other side so in Jira now in a second it will be synchronized and it will also give you a link to the issue that was created in Jira so if I click that this is the corresponding Jira issue and now there is a link between these two um, entities so the work item and this Jira issue which means any update from now on will synchronize back to the corresponding ticket so for example if I add a comment here and I check um, the, the work item again it will have the comment so that's the that's the manual synchronization and now I'm going to show you how to um, actually make this synchronization automatic so you don't have to actually manually synchronize every single work item to do this you can go to your connection and create a trigger and a trigger is just a query so when I create new work items if they match this query Excelate will know to automatically sync it over to the other side of the connection, so to Jira in this case. So for example, if work item type is task, I want to synchronize with this connection. I add that trigger, and now if I create a new work item, say it's going to be Azure to Jira test2, test description, I close that. I go back to my work items. Uh, where is it? Just one second. Mm, let me find that. This one. you can see I didn't have to actually manually click anything it just automatically synced over to to Jira